Hello everyone, in this video, we will talk about the interpretation of ANOVA results and today's objectives are the following, to interpret the ANOVA results and to provide a sample discussion of those results. Please take note that in this video, we will only present the part one of the roadmap in performing the analysis of variance. In that case, it is the part wherein the p-value is not less than 0.05. Please recall as well that in our previous video, we perform an analysis of variance to test the hypothesis of this given situation, and that is, if there is a significant difference in the 2018 annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So now, let's interpret the ANOVA results. So these are the two tables generated by the analysis of variance we performed in our last video. So we have the table for the descriptives and we have the ANOVA table. So how are we going to report the statistical information found in these tables? So for the table of descriptives, all we have to do is to report the following. First is to report the mean and standard deviation. However, in this generated result, what we have is a variance instead of the standard deviation. So what we're going to do is to compute the standard deviation of the data for each group by taking the square root of their corresponding variances. The second thing that we're going to report is the number of cases examined. So when we say number of cases examined, that's the total number of data collected from the three independent groups. So all we have to do is to simply add 48, 18, and 36. And the last thing that we're going to do is to provide an observation on the mean of each group. So here is an example of the interpretation of the statistical information found in the descriptive table generated by the analysis of variance. So I label the table as table 6.3. So we say table 6.3 shows the 2018 annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. 102 valid cases were examined. Luzon has the highest annual family expenditure, followed by Visayas and Mindanao. So every time we make some comparison or association between the variables involved in this result, you always need to justify that by including the statistical information found on that table. In this example, the only statistical information that we can use to validate that, for example, Luzon has the highest annual family expenditure is by stating the mean and comparing the mean to the other means that we have in this result. It's indeed true that Luzon has the highest annual family expenditure. So the next result that we're going to analyze is the information found in the ANOVA table. And what we're going to do is to simply compare the p-value to 0 0.05. So is the p-value less than 0 0.05? And why 0 0.05? Because in, our, in the problem that we are trying to answer, we are tasked to test the hypothesis at 0 0.05 level of significance. So what can we get in comparing the computed p-value to 0 0.05? So comparing the computed p-value to 0 0.05 will give us an idea if there is a significant difference in the annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So how are we going to do that? So we will be following a decision rule. So in this rule, if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, then conclude that there is a significant difference among the means of the three or more independent groups. Then perform the post hoc test to determine which pair of independent groups show a significant difference in their mean. However, if the p value is not less than 0 0.05, then conclude that there is no significant difference between the means of the three or more independent groups. So, in our example, the p value is not less than 0 0.05, it's actually 0.94615. So, therefore, our conclusion is there is no significant difference in the annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So this will be our conclusion and this will be our justification. 
So to write that in sentence, here we go. So there is no significant difference between the annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao as determined by one way and Nova. And we need to indicate this justification in our sentence. So to synthesize everything, here is the complete discussion of results for the statistical information found in the two tables generated by the analysis of variance. So we say, Table 6.3 shows the 2018 annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. 102 valid cases were examined. Luzon has the highest annual family expenditure, followed by Visayas and Mindanao. However, there is no significant difference between the annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, as determined by One Way ANOVA. So, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.